Hey guys! How y'all been? I can't even remember the last time I did a video, so sorry guys. I've not been doing uh, vlogs or much political activity at all recently because I've been concentrating on my mental health and getting better. And as you know, being so involved in politics can drain the hell out of you. <laughs> so I took a break. I'd like to apologise, firstly, for the state of my hair right now. I'm aware it looks like the grease is plentiful, but I dyed my hair earlier and it resulted in absolute disaster, as you can tell. I put too much conditioner on and it just won't come out. <laughs> I've rinsed it like five times and it just keeps getting worse. So I just figured, fuck it. Ordinarily, I wouldn't post anything of me looking like this, like a greasy grease ball, but I can no longer stay silent on the matter. Almost a week ago, a white nationalist march took place in Charlottesville in Virginia. It sparked obvious controversy, anger and repulse amongst American people. As a result, a counter-protest was held alongside the march, and as you can imagine, violence broke out and things quickly got out of hand, and three people died at the event. Two state troopers died in a helicopter crash whilst being on duty and a 32-year-old woman named Heather Heyer was one of the 20 people struck by a vehicle driven into a crowd of counter-protesters and she died. I find it so difficult to believe that in 2017 people, and not just a small amount of people, hundreds and thousands of people hold these racist-filled, bigoted, anti-Semitic, hateful views and to walk down the street shouting white supremacy slogans and anti-Semitic anti chants with so-called pride is mind-blowing. And to think these neo-Nazis think they're actually being patriotic is beyond me. They couldn't be further from the truth. Trump has defended the Nazis. I mean, it's absolutely shocking if anyone was to defend these backward-minded bigots for the anyway, but for the President of the United States to stand there and have the audacity to stand up for them is unreal. He said in a statement that both sides are to blame. Yes, the President actually said that. Uh, he said he's putting some of the blame on the counter-demonstrators for what happened that night. What the actual fuck? I mean, there's a clear moral difference between these people who are Nazis and thrive off hatred, bigotry, and the idea of a divided, immigrantless nation in comparison to people who want to stand up for ethnic minorities and for immigrants and to make it clear that racism and division won't be tolerated at any level, ever. And if the fucking president can't see something so simple as that, then wow. He should be standing there saying loud and clear that he condemns the neo-Nazis. He should be trying his absolute best to pull the country together instead of creating more tension and hatred by dividing people and tearing it apart. As a white person, I have to say that I feel so ashamed and the fact that these people have the same skin colour as me sickens me to the core. We can't stay silent about these sorts of acts. We all have to speak up and make the bigots realise that their idea of a utopia based on racism, hatred and division will never again become a reality.